Hi boys and girls, Thank, or welcome to Art Recycled with Mrs. Hallemeyer. Today we have a special treat. We have Mr. Hallemeyer here and he is going to show us how to make this really cool paper airplane. I don't know about you, but when I make paper airplanes, they tend to go and they crash on the ground. When he showed me this one, this one actually flies really, really well and it's pretty aerodynamic and he should know because he's an engineer. So you do not have to have paper uh, like us that's patterned. You could do this with white notebook paper or white printer paper. The cool thing about doing it with plain paper is that you can then color your paper airplane with crayons or markers when you're done. So with that being said, Mr. Hallemeyer, take it away. Hi kids, I'm Mr. Hallemeyer. So we're gonna start off, and because we're starting off with the color paper, we're actually gonna flip it over because we want that color to be on the outside of our plane. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the paper and we're gonna fold it in half longwise. So if you go ahead and match your edges up. And it does help, boys and girls, to do this on a really hard surface. If you notice, we have a cutting board under our paper and that's because our black table was kind of squishy so don't try to do this on the carpet you want a nice hard table another thing that helps too is i like to take the back of my nail and actually press on that edge that i just folded to really get a nice crisp line so then we're going to open our page open again and this this is going to be a uh, an edge that we're going to be a reference line that we're going to be using throughout our design of the paper airplane so um what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our top right corner of our paper and we're gonna fold this ledge here down to match that of the reference line that we just created. So boys and girls, you're taking that edge and you're matching it to the middle fold. Don't forget to press hard, make a good, nice crease. And then we're gonna take the left edge and we're gonna do the exact same thing. So take this side here Fold it down to the middle. And what we're gonna end up with is kind of a, something that looks like a house. So see, it kind of resembles a house here. Two triangles on the top, square on the bottom. Next, we're gonna take our triangle on top and we're just gonna place our finger here because this is where we wanna fold it over. We wanna fold it over this kind of edge created by our, our previous fold. So, just put your finger there and fold over. Now it looks like an envelope. Exactly. But we're not making envelopes here. We're making paper airplanes. So we got to continue. <laughs> paper airplanes way cooler. All right. Okay. So you should be with something like this here. And next up, we're going to take our top right corner. And this is going to be a kind of a harder fold. So make sure to kind of take your nail and press on this edge and kind of roll it out so it's easier to easier to manipulate the paper. And then what we want to do is we want to take that top right corner and fold it to about one thumb's distance above our little peak here. So take my thumb and then I'm going to just bring this paper down or this corner down over, match that point to our center. So boys and girls, he's taking this corner and you have a fold right here. So I put my thumb there and then I'm making that point go to the center fold right there. Gotta press that one kind of hard. Yep. And then go ahead and take your nail and kind of press on this top ledge here to kind of roll that out. And we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So we just wanna make sure that's easy to, to fold and we're gonna bring it down. And we're going to match those two points together at that center line. So boys and girls, right now, I just did the same thing to the other side. This should look symmetrical. That means that it is the same on both sides. And these two corners hit the same spot on the center fold here. All right. Miss Hallemar is doing good. Okay, so now we're going to take our tip of our triangle and we want to fold it up over the folds that we just made. So what this is going to do is this is going to create a little pocket in our next in our next step. So it should look like this here. Okay. And now we want to pick it up and we want to 
pinch here at the pocket and we want to fold it backwards and just kind of get everything lined up again fold everything down so here's what you should end up with you should end up with a little pocket that has these previous folds held into place and then our next step is we're going to be creating the wings so for the wings what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take the leading edge of the wing which this is going to be our leading edge of the wing and we want to fold this over to match our basically this edge here so this is going to be a little harder fold because you got a lot of paper but just go ahead and work with it and then bring that down and match up with that other edge and give it a good press down to get that good crease okay and now flip it over and do the exact same thing with the other edge so take your leading edge of your wing and bring it down to match up with that edge and then give it a good crease all right so here's what you should end up with after all your folding now once you have this, you just open up your wings and you should end up with something kind of like this. And just a little tip, if you take a pen or a pencil, you could kind of come in to this edge here and you could kind of work those wings. So what are you saying, boys and girls, is take your plane that's facing upward, flip it upside down, and then take the pen and go into you have like a little pocket on the underside of your wing and he's just saying pop that out a little bit. What that does is it just creates an arc and it allows for uh, the plane to glide a little better. So this is your paper airplane and I hope it flies well for you. Uh, if it doesn't look exactly like this, it's okay. Um, it's okay. Get, keep working on it and um, even if it doesn't look like this, I'm sure it's going to fly and do something interesting, so. <laughs> Boys and girls, it does help too if you pinch like the swing a little bit too. It gives, you, it gives a little bit more uh, lift to your airplane. And um, again, if you don't do this perfectly the first time, that's what practice is for. And then you just try it again. All right, thanks Mr. Hallemeyer. See you next time kids. Subscribe to Art Recycled if you like these videos.